Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to be going over a nice little trick how to multiply numbers by 111. And it's similar to multiplying by 11 if you've seen that video, but we're going to be multiplying numbers by 111. It's very important to know that anytime you multiply a number by 111, you have to assume that you're multiplying by a three digit number. So for instance, if you multiply by 16, you want to actually look at it like it's 0, 1, 6. So 16 to make it a three digit number is 0, 1, 6. So this is how we're going to take a look at how to multiply numbers by 111. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down the first number which is 6. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the first two numbers together. So 6 plus 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. So we're going to write that down. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the next three numbers, so 6 plus 1 plus 0. And in this case, 6 plus 1 plus 0 is 7. We're going to write that down. And then, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add the last two numbers together. So in this case, 0 plus 1 is 1. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to write down the last number, which doesn't really make a difference. 0, which we can just take away. And 16 times 111 is 1,776. And we'll look at, it's a little easier if you have a three digit number, so we'll look at actually a four digit number so you can understand. Let's say 2,413 times 111. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to write down the last number. In this case, it's three. So we're going to write down three. Then we're going to add the next, the last two numbers, three and one, which is four. We're going to write down four. Next, we're going to write add the last three numbers, which is 4 plus 1 plus 3, which is 8. Then you're going to add the next three numbers, which is 1 plus 4 plus 2, and that's 7. And you would do this as long as the number is. You would do 3, 3, 3. But now that we've done the last three numbers, now all we can do is add the next two numbers. So 4 plus 2 is 6. And then we can just write our last number down since we didn't carry a number. So we just write down 2, and this is our number right here, 267,843. So we'll take a look at one more. We'll take a look at a longer one so you can understand the process a little bit better. And I'll just make up some numbers here. 5, 6, 1, 2 times 111. And the number is going to be kind of big, so I'm actually going to write it at a diagonal here. But the first thing we're going to do is write the 2 down. So we'll go ahead and write the 2 here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the last two digits. So 1 plus 2 is 3. And then we're going to add the last three digits. So 6 plus 1 plus 2 is 9. Then we're going to add the next three digits, which is 5 plus 6 plus 1. And that's 12. So I'm going to write down my 2, carry my 1. Next, I'm going to add the next three digits, 6 plus 5 plus 4, which is 15, plus 1 is 16. I'm going to write down my 6, carry my 1 again. Now, I'm going to continue adding the next three numbers, which is 5 plus 4 plus 7. And this is 16, plus 1 is 17. So I'll write down 7, carry my 1. And the next, I'm going to add 4 and 7. You're technically adding three digits, three numbers. There's just a zero at the end, if you want to imagine that in your head. So four plus seven plus zero is 11, plus that one is 12. So two and then one. And then our last number seven plus the one is eight. So this large number times 111, you would probably never think that you could do it pretty fast, when in actuality, we just solved it super fast. So this is the answer. I don't know what that number is, but 82762932, it's a big number, and that is the answer. So this is how you multiply numbers by 111. Keep in mind always to make sure it's a three-digit number. So even if it's four, pretend like it's 004. If it's already a three-digit number, then you don't have to worry about it. But if you, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, and if you haven't checked out the website, themathworld.com. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next video.